Okay, so another proof for us to look at. Here I can see I've got circle geometry to think about, obviously. I notice I've got tangents and I have triangles on the inside. So I'll keep all those rules in mind that will apply to those. In the diagram above, AB is tangent to the circle TD. And to the circle and TD is the diameter of the circle. So a couple of things I notice. There's a little dot there. That's indicating to me this is going through the center. So that's my diameter. So I know that if I have a diameter, I know that the angle in the corner is going to be 90 degrees for that triangle. I also know for a tangent, I'm going to have 90 degrees for a chord, or sorry, from a radius, or this in case a diameter, a radii, touching a tangent is going to make a 90 degrees. And they tell me that the angle ABC, ABC is equal to X. So they want me to prove what I'm aiming for the angle CED, CED up here, is equal to X. That's what they're trying to get me to prove. So you must give geometric reasons, and away we go with it. Same with any proof, we've got to prove what we've done, make it clear. So I might indicate a few things to start with, um, but let's just think through what you might do. I know this is 90 degrees, I know this one's 90 degrees, I have to prove that this is equal to that. So taking a look at this, seeing what I can notice. Um, I notice here I've got a large right angle triangle because I know this is 90 degrees because it's a radius and the tangent touching. So that means to me that down here I'm going to have 180 minus 90 minus x, 180 degrees in a triangle. So that gets me sort of started, 180 degrees down here. 180 degrees in a triangle, minus off the two angles, I get x here. And I'm going to try to connect this triangle over to the other one. So I notice again I've got my 90 degrees up here, and I'm just trying to make some connections. So I might look now to see if I have any other shapes that are helpful. If I erase that one, let's look for something else that uses this angle here that I've just discovered a relationship for. What if I use angles on the same arc. So if I look at the arc C, T, between T and C, I've got two angles that are made off of that arc, so I know that those are going to be equal. And I think that's the direction I'm going to go in. Because now I've got a relationship of X and this angle I'm trying to prove next to each other because I know they should be 90 degrees. So sometimes before you start writing it's good to just think your way through it and see if your thought process actually gets you to where you want to be. And in this case it will. So the first thing I want to say is that angle DTB equals 90 degrees. My reason for that is tangent to radius equal 90 degrees. Next thing that I said was that angle TED is equal to 90 degrees. And this is because um, semicircle equal 90 degrees on edge. So those are the first two things I started with. So now, looking at angle T, D, C, that's this one down here, I said that that was equal to 180 degrees minus 90 minus X, and my reason for that was 100 and, or angles in triangle equal 180. So again, this big triangle here, I have to add them up or take away from 180. So 180 minus 90 minus x will give me this angle down here. I then said the angle TDC, again this one here, was equal to angle TEC because angles, oh, using an abbreviation here, because angles on same arc are equal. That was the arc TC. So now I've got this relationship. So the next thing that I noticed then was that angle TED equals 90 degrees. So that tells me that angle X, in this case, might use the actual words for it here, which is angle CED 
which is equal to x. CED is equal to 90 degrees minus angle ETC. So up here, this guy here is equal to 90 degrees minus all this stuff here in this angle. So I'm using the formal words there. I'm not actually putting in the numbers for it yet. Oops, I did the order of that wrong. Sorry. TEC, angle TEC. So if I stop and look, I've got a relationship for TEC and a relationship for TEC that it's equal to TDC and TDC is equal to all of this stuff. So I'm going to use substitution and plug all of that in for TEC. So x is equal to angle CED is equal to 90 minus, using brackets, 180 minus 90 minus x. Simplifying a little bit, I might say that I know that 180 minus 90 is 90, so I'm going to say 90 minus bracket 90 minus x is equal to angle CED, which is again what we're trying to prove over here. So, expanding out the brackets, 90 minus 90, a minus and a minus becomes plus x. So that tells me angle CED is equal to x, which is what we were trying to prove, because 90 minus 90 cancel. So angle CED is equal to x. And then we're done. So, um, I probably shouldn't have said equals x here. We were trying to prove that it was equal to x. We didn't know that yet. So again, angle CED, what we were looking for, is equal to x, and that's what we were able to prove. So show all your work, and don't be afraid to connect things back, looking for things that can be written more than one way, saying the same thing two ways, or expressions that are equal to each other. And you should be able to get to your answer. Again, show your working, and make sure you give your reasonings for them when you use them.